As we continue to wait for more clarity about infrastructure and policy at the White House, the National Association of Manufacturers is releasing a new study detailing the short and long term policy implications for a corporate tax hike. Jay Timmons joins us this morning, the CEO of the National Association of Manufacturers. Jay, it's always good to have you. Welcome back. Good morning. What has your study found? So uh, very similar to what we talked about just a few weeks ago, that a 28 uh, percent corporate tax rate would result in two million jobs lost in the first or one million jobs lost in the first two years and six million jobs lost in five years. Uh, some folks are talking about a 25 percent rate. And while that might be well intentioned, uh, it still has a very similar uh, detrimental effect on the economy. Another there's still a million jobs lost over two years. Five million jobs lost over 10 years. So we don't think that's the right way to go. We've pre we presented other op options such as public-private partnerships, user fees, uh, bonds for uh, for financing a very large infrastructure investment, which Carl, we are very very much on board with. So 25 uh, is still a million lost. I, I assume there's no number between where we are today and 25 where NAM would be happy to settle at. Well, first of all, you have to look at, at uh, the proposals during the campaign of, of increased taxes on, on many things, including not only large companies, but small companies as well and small businesses. And that's what our study shows. That shows the impact of, of, of those tax increases. And the bottom line, Carl, is that when we received those tools that we had argued for for decades, uh, a lower corporate tax rate, a lower rate for small businesses, it resulted in, in job increases that were record for 21 years. We had more jobs created uh, over the course of uh, 2018 than had been produced or had been created since uh, for 21 years before that. We saw record investment in manufacturing facilities. We saw increases, record increases in, in pay and benefits. We don't want to lose that. And I, I know we will take several steps forward when we invest in infrastructure. There's no doubt about that. But we don't want to, at the same time, take steps backwards by penalizing those businesses that are actually hiring and investing in America. Jay, Jay it's Morgan uh, speaking. Ine of inevitably, Jay, Jay, inevitably, there are going to be people who argue, um, you know, any any worry about job losses is, is, is serious and, and legitimate. But when you have jolts arguing there are eight million uh, job openings in the country right now, uh, GDP is looking to grow 10 in Q2, best earnings season for the S&P in a decade, that maybe those worries are a little bit easier to dismiss right now. Well, I suppose, you know, the narrative, uh, we're, in, we're in good time, so why not punish business, uh, may be some sort of a popular, uh, <laughs> might be popular in some sectors. But I think that the most important thing that we have to realize is that the reason we are where we are, which means a, a strong economy coming out of a pandemic, is because business, especially manufacturing, has been doing the right things for the last 14 months. We've been investing, we've been hiring, we've been keeping people on payroll as best we can. That same JOLTS report, I will say, Carl, shows 700,000 open jobs in manufacturing today. And that is a, that is a record for our sector. And that's not particularly a good record because what that means is we, we can't find the talent that we need to fill these incredible jobs that we have open in manufacturing, jobs, by the way, that pay higher than any other sector of the economy. But there are consequences to government actions. When, when you drive up the cost of doing business, it means less investment, it means less jobs. And that's a fact, we've proven that fact. We proved the opposite by getting the tools that we were given in 2017 with competitive tax policy. We proved that with those right tax policies in place, we're gonna invest and hire and raise wages and benefits, we did it. We don't want to go back to those archaic tax policies of the past. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.